Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back. For some time now, I've been using Joplin and I use Joplin as a note-taking solution. I am using it connected with a Nextcloud backend because I don't want my notes where I have stored personal information to be somewhere in a cloud. And I certainly don't want to have a subscription cloud service for taking notes and storing my personal information in a cloud. So what I've done is I am running Nextcloud in my OnRage server. Nextcloud is a very nice self-hosted cloud solution. In another video, I will show you guys how I've set it up and what I'm doing with it. But basically what, what is happening at my site is I have Joplin as an application installed on my desktop and I have it installed on my iPhone. I have it installed on my iPad and all those applications connect to my Nextcloud instance and use my Nextcloud instance to store all the notes I'm creating, editing, or even sharing with uh, other members in my family. So in this video, I will show you how I've set up Joplin and how to make sure that it connects successfully with your Nextcloud instance and make sure that you self-host your note-taking application, your note-taking solution, and keep all your personal private information in the notes, uh, safe and secure, and in your own control. Let's get into it. This is Joplin. Joplin is a open source note-taking app. That means you are self-hosting it, or in other words, you are self-hosting the backend for it. Of course, there are several solutions how to use it. I am using it with Nextcloud. So if you go scroll further down the page, you can see some very interesting information. It has collaboration options, it has editing options. You can save a lot of formats into it. You can even attach photos or other files uh, into it. Uh, one of the things I'm using it for is, for example, I'm keeping um, a archive of all the receipts we uh, have for stuff we buy for warranty purposes. And what I do is I scan those receipts and keep it in my Joplin in a specific notebook. And then when I need to um, uh, recall those receipts, um, I have them at hand, If even if I'm not at home, right? Because they are stored in the application. And the nice thing is, if you connect the Joplin, if you start up the Joplin application, it will connect to the Nextcloud backend. It will synchronize all the notebooks which are in there and keep a copy on your local device. So that means even if you are not connected to your Nextcloud instance, for example, uh, I'm running Nextcloud only in my local network. It is not accessible from the outside. So uh, Joplin will then sync up the information when I'm at home or if I'm on my VPN and then keep a copy for it locally. Uh, in that way, I have access to all the nodes I've stored into Joplin and in Nextcloud always um, as long as I have my device with me. So this is for me one of the most important things. It's 100% your data. It is an open source application and um, you are in charge of where to store that data. So they have a thing named Joplin Cloud, of course, uh, but then the whole point of doing the self-hosted uh, solution is to have the, uh, the backend also self-hosted. That's why I chose to use it with Nextcloud. You will see in a minute that there are several options in the Joplin application, which you can leverage to store the data. So Let's see, this is my Nextcloud instance. If I log into my Nextcloud, um, hopefully I know the password. Is it this password? Yes, we are logged in. So I've created a specific user for Nextcloud. This is the user I'm connected with. And this is just a normal user, which I just created in my Nextcloud for, uh, for the demo purpose. So what we are going to do is go to files and then you will see if you just create a user in Nextcloud, it will populate that directory, the home directory for that user with a set of sample files. You can, of course, delete those sample files, um, but I will show you what we need to actually store that data from Joplin into this, uh, into my Nextcloud instance for the user YouTube, YouTube demo, um, which I use to log in. And then Nextcloud is very extensive because it has a lot of add-ons. You can even enable a notes 
application within Nextcloud itself. So I've tried that Notes application within Nextcloud. It's working fine from a browser. It's working fine if I install the Nextcloud um, client on my desktop uh, computer, but it's not working fine from uh, when I use my iPhone. When I use the Nextcloud Notes application on my iPhone, it's difficult to store App, uh, attachments like photos or other attachments I need to store in my notes and then recall them. That experience was not very good. So that's why I switched over to Joplin because that is doing a perfectly fine job uh, managing all the attachments I need in my notes. So of course, that means you cannot access Jop Joplin from a web interface. You always will need a client. Now the client for Windows, for Mac, for Linux is free and for iOS as well. So the first thing we are going to do is install that client for Windows in this case. Here we have that latest version of Joplin as of making this video. That's version 3.1.24. We are going to install that. Only for me. Yes. Let it run for a while. Minimize this one. All right, we have installed Joplin successfully. I will leave the checkbox to run Joplin because I want to configure it immediately uh, and, I, and I want to be able to use it uh, with my Nextcloud. So here we have the application. This is the basic, the default installation that we minimized that window so we can see this one. Let's see and all right. So this is the standard Joplin interface. As you can see here, it has populated some notebooks here as well. So what we need to do is create a connection for Joplin to the Nextcloud instance, to my Nextcloud instance. And if we go back to my Nextcloud instance, as you can see here, I'm in the All Files section. You have to click on the files, go to the All Files section. And what Joplin needs is basically a web dev uh, communication, a web dev connection to your Nextcloud instance. So make sure it is able to reach that uh, Nextcloud instance using HTTPS. And then it needs a specific folder where it will store those, those notes. And those notes are being stored in an open source format as well. So that means you can uh, have complete access to the raw data. So in order for Joplin to connect to my next cloud and be able to store the information there, we need to create a folder. I will create a folder in my all files in my file browser within next cloud. And then I will create a folder named Joplin. This is easy for me to remember. You can give it any name as, uh, as long as it's uh, accessible to for the, for the Joplin client. So now this is the folder name I will create. As we can see here, the folder is empty and that's fine. So we need to connect Joplin to Nextcloud. So let's go back to the Joplin application. If we click on tools and then click on options, you will see that there are a lot of options here you can configure. Take your time and dive into the options you need. What we are going to do now is create a synchronization. You can of course run the wizard but I know how to set it up for Nextcloud. So for the synchronization target, I will choose Nextcloud. You can see that there are several options there, even S3. The S3 beta is of course for object storage. In case you're running some storage uh, device on your on-prem network, it's, it supports that S3 uh, protocol, uh, object storage uh, protocol. Then you can of course connect it to that as well. You can do a file system. This is very simple. It will then just create files on your local file system. The Joplin Cloud, as I said, there are some options there as well. I'm not going to do that. I am going to use Nextcloud. So let's click on Nextcloud and immediately this interface will change. You will be prompted to enter a web dev URL and that web dev URL that it should be in a specific uh, format. As you can see here, it's using the Nextcloud web dev interface. Basically, you need a username, of course, and a password for Nextcloud. Now, luckily, I have set that up beforehand. So this is the web dev URL you will need. As you can see here, the web dev part, this is the web dev part, right? This is connecting uh, using a certificate, SSL certificate with my Nextcloud instance. And then it's calling that web dev path there as well. As you can see here, I have added the Joplin folder because that's the folder it will access using web dev to store all my notebooks within uh, Joplin. If we go back real quick, 
to my next cloud you can see here i am in this folder in the dear joplin this is the place where i'm going to store all my notebooks from uh, the joplin app so make sure that you change this to the corresponding folder name you have uh, let's copy and paste this the username and the password are already there those are of course uh, not accessible from the internet um, even deleted when we when i've done with when i'm done with this video so let's paste that url here copy over my username and then just for the ease of things let's copy over that password as well and then we can a set up a synchronization interval i like to keep this short because um it is on my own network so this will make sure that uh, if I change something in one of my notebooks within Joplin from my iPhone, for example, my desktop app or otherwise, it will sync immediately or within that five minutes, right? So um, if I have entered that, I can click on check synchronization configuration. It says successful. The synchronization is correct. We will click here on back. And now it is synchronizing with my Nextcloud. So if we go back to Nextcloud, you can see here it's synchronizing um, in the bottom left corner. It is getting some remote items as well, creating some of the remote items. And this, it is basically creating this the same um, data which is here. It's being created on the back end now. So if I go to my Nextcloud server and I refresh this, interface let's do that i should be able to see some files in there these are the files which are being created from the joplin desktop client so if i connect with my iphone we can we should be able to see the same data here from my iphone so let's do a new note and say it this is a youtube test demo and let's just enter some information here information to display on iphone client now if you create this we have set up the interval to do the synchronization every five minutes we can of course force that synchronization immediately if we want to just click on synchronize it will then uh, synchronize immediately and as you can see here it has created that one node which i just created okay so let's go to my iphone client and see if we can actually access the next cloud instance for joplin and if all my synchronized notebooks are there so unfortunately the audio for this screen uh, for this recording it got corrupted but what you can see here basically this is joplin running on my iphone i've just installed it and what I'm going to do is click on that hamburger menu on the top left side and go to the configuration option, click on synchronization, and then I will choose the synchronization target. That is the next cloud target, of course. And when I've done that, I need to enter that URL. That's the same URL with the web app. Make sure that you enter that Joplin folder there as well. If you do that, um, you should be uh, it should be basically the same URL you're using on your desktop client. That should be the same URL you will be using everywhere where you install Joplin. Now, when I've entered that, I will enter my Nextcloud username and password. That's the one I'm using uh, for the demo purposes, of course. And now we can click on check synchronization. You can see it's successful. So that means we are successfully connected to our Nextcloud instance. So if I go back using that uh, arrow on top, we will see that it immediately starts synchronizing and that notebook there, that note, that YouTube test demo I created earlier on my desktop, it's already available on my iPhone client. So the next thing what I want to do is show you guys that if I edit a, if I edit this note on my iPhone, let's add some information in there. So just add some text to create a change. And of course, uh, the client on the iPhone synchronizes on that interval automatically as well. 
just like the desktop client. Now, I can trigger that synchronization, of course, manually. It already has done that uh, one uh, change. Let's make sure that it propagates to my next cloud. It is synchronized. And now if I go back to my desktop client, I should be able to see the changes there as well. Here we are on the desktop application. Let's minimize some windows. And it already synchronized that notebook from my next cloud instance, from, from the next cloud connection. And as you can see here, the text that I just added using my iPhone is already there. And this is working perfectly fine for attachments as well, even code and etc. etc. You can add here and make sure that all your Nate note taking needs are being well met when using Joplin as a note taking application. And that's how I set up Joplin with a Nextcloud backend. My Nextcloud backend is already being backed up. So that means my Joplin data is already being backed up. I don't have to set up anything else for that. If I want extra security for my notes, which I create with Joplin, I can enable encryption in the Joplin client as well, and it will encrypt all the data in there. So uh, that's an added layer of security. Let me know in the comment what you guys are using for your note taking needs. Are you using a cloud solution? Do you do something with self hosting? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. And that way you can make sure that you will be notified every time I post a new video. It helps out my channel a lot. If you have comment, leave it in the comment section and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. For now, take care and see you in the next video. Bye.